Yes. Uh, the Muppets line, we recently unveiled Series 4. Uh, series 3, we were um, waiting to show, uh, finalize the accessories. Um, we added a piano for Ralph. I need more um, Dr. Teeth. Yes, Dr. Teeth. Uh, he's got his keyboard. <laughs> yes. Um, so Series 3 should be coming out this spring. Now they got all the accessories finalized in Series 4. You can pre-order that at the end of the month. Oh, and perfect. And that'll be like summer, fall. Um, Swedish Chef, a lot of accessories. Salmon, Rizzo, Podium, Teeth, and uh, Zoom keyboard. Um, Cool stuff, you know, these are the select ones. Um, I don't know if you're gonna see any streamlined versions of these. In the past, we've done streamlined versions of the Muppets. I think yeah. these are gonna be specialty only. Okay. So you're only gonna be able to get them with the with the additional accessories at that $25 price point. I think it's still fair. Yeah, yeah no, I, I mean, like it's, that. It's, it's, it's definitely fair, we're, we wanted to make sure everybody had lots of accessories, speakers and gramophones, and Piggy comes with a penguin and stuff like that. <laughs> um, but you won't be able to get more streamlined versions anywhere else. So these, are, so look for them at comic shops and okay. specialty stores. All right. And online source. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, Ghostbusters, uh, we're going to continue. Um, uh, we're going to finish up the rooftop diorama. Okay. Uh, series 5 is going to be coming out very soon um, with the terror dog and the two ghosts, and then the rooftop will be done. Yes. And we're going to put out a couple of more marshmallow variants okay. without any diorama <laughs> parts. Those are lower price point, $20. Yeah. Um, uh, so Winston and Egon we haven't put out yet. The other two were at uh, Toys R Us and San Diego Comic Con. And then uh, Series 6 is going to start off our Ghostbusters 2 series. Can and we're going to have, um, we're gonna have uh, okay. Vigo Carpathian yep. Series 1. And when you build Series 6 through 10, you're going to be able to build uh, the uh, facade of the firehouse. Okay. <laughs> uh, so not the roof of the firehouse. No, but, I know, uh, but that's but, still uh, Sidewalk up to the side. Yeah. Um, so that's still pretty cool. Um, very curious to see how it stands. We'll, we'll, make, we'll make it work somehow. But, uh, and you're getting, are you getting yeah. that? Yeah, no, Shpoha is going to be in the series. And yeah. The All right. <laughs> That's uh, hilarious. Ninja Turtles, uh, our mini mates have been doing very well from the Nickelodeon cartoon, so we're going to jump back to the 1980s yes. and do the retro classic turtles. I'm just not going to call them classic or retro, but um, uh, the classic turtles, you see two waves here, a uh, foot soldier army builder in both series. All the big main characters, and if they do well, we'll uh, maybe we'll go to series three. I want all of them. And these are two packs, not blind bags. Oh, really? Yeah. Good. People okay. haven't been digging the blind bags, so we're gonna switch back to two packs for for uh, for this. Okay. Uh, and for Nightmare, and also for Predator, uh, our new Predator mini They're not here. Uh, this show we've shown series four recently. Okay. But um, those are gonna be two packs, not blind bags. So is anything gonna stay blind bag, or is it just um, two maybe packs certain only? retailers? Like if Hot Topic does more, they may do blind bags. Okay. Um, they've been having, they've been doing the hot blind bag uh, Nightmare and Alice stuff. Um, but uh, I don't think there's anything on the schedule right now. Okay. Um, for I blind like bags. Personally, I like the two packs. I mean, um, just because then I know exactly who I got to build up. But um, yeah, that's I'm excited for these figures especially. Great. So the right there, you can see um, the Watchmen box set we're doing, uh, Forbidden Planet two pack and Iron Giant two pack. Yes. There are currently no more plans for other other characters from Forbidden Planet or Iron Giant, but we are looking at other merchandise from there, including we'll have Vinny Mates of uh, uh, Robbie the Robot and the Iron Giant, and uh, maybe more stuff as well. Perfect. And you see our Wally World pine glasses from Vacation. I want to do more figural stuff from Vacation. I think we tentatively have some plans, but we'll see how that goes. Okay. <laughs> um, down below, you can see some pirates uh, of the Caribbean 5 Mini Mates, which are okay to shoot. Um, uh, not the select figure that we're doing, um, or the statue or the bust, but we are going to do um, the mini mates in two packs. Some are Toys R Us uh, exclusive, okay. and then uh, select figures we're going to do Jack Sparrow, um, Barbosa, and I believe Salazar, and they will come with pieces of a diorama to build the deck of the Black Pearl. Really? So um, the steering, <laughs> the steering wheel, and the railings, okay. and the floorboards, and all that. So that'll be very cool. I can't wait to see that. That's still being finalized. I think Barbosa's approved. They just, they just didn't make it here for the show. Okay. 
Uh, I haven't seen Salazar yet. But these look, I mean, that's Johnny Depp, straight up. Oh, that thank you. Yeah, very, the very good. The look great. We just yes. made the final program from Johnny on that and his PVC statue, like our gallery style statue. Yeah. $45 you know, plastic statue. And then um, uh, his resin busk that we're doing, which is about $60 price point. That's perfect. There needs to be some rum, but other than that, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get to talk about Star Trek, but we're going to do a new Star Trek select action figure of the Borg. Oh, uh, it will be a mix of okay. uh, interchangeable parts and some articulation. Uh, people have been asking for more articulation on that, uh, but it'll also come with interchangeable like tool arms and heads and stuff like that. Really? And okay. uh, then our next starship is going to be the USS Reliant from Star Trek II: Wrath of Khan. Okay, so, sweet. Very exciting. I'm sure everybody. I know those nerds have been asking for. <laughs> Back to Marvel. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to Marvel. Everything can show here? Yeah, everything's cool to show here except for uh, Chris Pratt's head. Okay. So, um, our Marvel Select line is obviously very popular. Um, uh, we've shown Lady Deadpool. We've solicited but not shown Homecoming Spider Man. Yes. Uh, we no, have not shown or mentioned no, Spider Gwen from the comic books. Uh, we've solicited but not shown Star Lord here. He will come with Rocket Raccoon from the movie. Uh, we don't have Drax ready. Uh, Drax comes with Groot from the movie. Um, and uh, next to them is uh, Netflix Daredevil. Uh, it's our first Netflix select figure. Yes. Uh, Daredevil. I think we're going to try to do some more uh, from the Netflix shows, but this is our first one. It comes with the elevator diorama from the uh, elevator fight. Uh, and next to them, you can see some of our new PVC Marvel Gallery figures. Um, we've shown Luke Cage and uh, recently showed Punisher. But next is uh, Daredevil and Electra. They came out very, very cool. These are, again, uh, the PVC statues, $45 just a retail price. Let me just say, I'm not going to name names, but for the $25 price point plus the diorama, way better than some competitors. Like, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> like, these look way... They're just awesome. Well, thank you. So, thank you. good. Good yeah, job. Yeah, we've been watching other action figure lines creep up in price. Uh, I'm honestly amazed if we can do what we can do for the PVC statues for 45 Yeah, They're I don't much know bigger. either. Yeah. The bases are you know, pretty crazy sometimes. Um, on the next shelf down, you can see some of our Guardians of the Galaxy stuff, um, uh, which is all fine to shoot. Um, so Gamora and Star-Lord and Drax yes. and uh, Black Panther. More yeah, Gamora. Everything, everything here is okay to show. <laughs> it's fine. Um, and... Uh, and then below that, we've got, uh, well, you can see these are all, um, these are all going to be coming out uh, hopefully towards the end of the year. Um, and then below that, we've got some more comic stuff. Uh, Sam Wilson, Captain America, just got here for the first time. And That's $45? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Every now and then, we, uh, <laughs> we like to throw one in. We try to keep the price point the same just for, you know, uniformity, but every now and then, we try to throw in one that's really cool and elaborate. Some are smaller than others. You know, um, Riri Williams, Iron, yes. Iron Heart is a little smaller than Sam Wilson. Uh, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, it's pretty slim. Um, Phoenix, we've shown uh, Old Man Logan. We changed the base for Gwenpool. It used to be a Deadpool logo uh, type base. Now it's um, a Gwen Gwenpool logo yeah. type base. And Iron Man, of course. Expanding on the Mego line? Yeah, we're expanding the Mego line. With another, uh, that's, we've shown the box set of the Punisher. Yep. Um, I'm very excited about that one. I'm not even a huge Punisher fan, but I think it looks really good. It does look And really the first good. Deadpool set actually sold out, so we made a second one with different costumes. He's got the Marvel Now costume. He's got more of a point on the hood that he has. Uh, he comes with an interchangeable um, uh, Ultimate Deadpool costume and the head and an interchangeable Pirate Deadpool costume and head. I'm and is that like that. <laughs> the rapper one? No, well, oh, okay. you, could, you could just make him a rapper one yeah. with, with a do rag on his head. But, yeah, but that's that goes underneath the uh, the pirate. Hat. Yeah. Uh, so, and, or you could just put that outfit on some sort of bearded Mego and make it a Captain Morgan. Yes. Uh, I'm sure you've already had the world's greatest super pirates at home. I know. I do. Um, this is uh, our mini mate shelf. Um, we haven't shown the Spider-Man Homecoming mini mates yet, but here they are. Uh, nice. Vulture, big wings on him. That's a really big span. one. Um, and then. Uh, Spider-Man, Shocker, Peter Parker, May Parker, and Tinkerer. There are a couple figures here we can't show. This is just uh, five of the, no, six of the eight. So there's is a couple more that we need to show. That Vulture, is he in a two-pack or is he by himself? He's in a two-pack. Wow. Uh, the wings will, I think, come off in the, yeah. in the background, but he's going to come with, uh, I think, one of the mystery figures. Okay. That we can't show yet. Um, but um, we'll hopefully reveal those as the movie gets a little closer. Okay. Um, next set, you see our Netflix Luke Cage box set. We've shown yes. that that's coming out pretty soon. Yes. Uh, I've seen the package samples. Very cool package. You've been doing original mini made style artwork for the box. It's really cool. Um, and this is uh, the three of the four figures from the Netflix um, Iron Fist set. The fourth figure is actually secret. We can't show it to you, but you've got a but you know what it is. suited and angry <laughs> fighting um, Danny Rand. And yeah. then you've got Colleen Wing in the back there. 
this is the first time we've done two of the same character in the box set, but his outfits were so different, it would have been a complete different figure anyway. And we've got a real draw line somewhere. Luke Cage comes in there and changes the torsos. Okay. Um, Wolverine is in Series 72. Um, uh, he's going to be coming out this spring. Uh, you can see the comic face Wolverine. First Silver Samurai, first Mojo, first Spiral, first Dead Lady Deathstrike in like 10 years or something yeah. like that. And now, uh, 15 years. And then. Um, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy were showing Ego and Aisha for the first time, but these actually hit March 1st. Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, really? Two, two okay. Minutes, yeah. I think this is the furthest, uh, uh, earliest we've gotten out any of our uh, movie stuff. Uh, you know, usually we're, we try to get out around the movie or, you know, maybe a little bit after. But um, Those you know, Gamoras are impossible really. to find from the last movie. I have them. Gamora Minimates? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They were very popular. Yeah, they were, they were, she was specially exclusive, um, uh, and she was in a pack with Nebula, I think. Uh, but this time she's going to be in a pack with Rocket, and she's going to be at Specialty and at Toys R Us. Oh, nice. Um, okay. Star-Lord and Yondu will also be at Specialty and Toys R Us. Um, comic shops will get Mantis, Taserface, Ego, and Aisha exclusively, and Toys R Us will have Drax with Nebula. So really? Drax and Nebula will be a Toys R Us exclusive, exclusive um, um, and, uh, and, uh, and the other ones will be a session. But all in March, you think? Uh, March 1st is when the specialty assortment hits. We don't know okay. when stuff hits Toys R Us specifically. Gotcha. I haven't necessarily seen the ship date on that yet, but I also can't control when it gets out to stores. Yeah. So it'll trickle out, you know, as, as it goes. Okay. Awesome. And they'll have, uh, uh, they'll have to share that in Wolverine assortment, too. Um, I think they have um, Weapon X Wolverine with Lady Deathstrike and Mojo with Spiral. And they won't have the yellow Wolverine with Silver Samurai and the Ninjas. Yeah. Uh, each one of them comes with a Ninja. Uh, yes. That's especially exclusive. Uh, Toys R Us will instead have a tactical Wolverine, brown costume with uh, a headband, like Jim Lee style yeah. Wolverine. Um, you know, from when he was in the jungle. Yeah. Uh, and a vest. A vest. And he's got, um, and he comes with uh, Marvel Now Magneto in the black costume. Really? Yeah. All right. That's a Toys R Us exclusive. Too. That's awesome. Okay. Perfect. So let's go check out the DC stuff. Yeah. Let's do that. I might have to start talking a little fast. Okay. Uh, here's our uh, Marvel sh uh, statue section. Uh, we've never shown the Psylocke before. These are all premier collections up top. We just sent out pictures of Wolverine. Uh, there's a Claiborne Moore uh, Iron Man here, classic Iron Man. Claiborne Moore Spider Gwen mask yes. variant we're doing. Uh, this is, a, I think, a silver mirror as Wolverine. I'm not sure if they're a Psylocke. Uh, but these are both Claymore down here, the uh, Thanos and the Captain America. We've never shown this Captain America. Before. Different gauntlets? Yep. Uh, Come he's got on. A, he's got a Finley gauntlet on the left and a Q on the right. And if you want regular fist, you can switch it out. Um, and then uh, this is our Marvel <laughs> Milestones Doctor's Train. We've never shown this before. This is a larger, higher price point, 200 instead of well, the 150. Uh, a little bigger, a little heavier. Um, movie Doctor Strange. Down here you have Movie Iron Man, and he pairs up with a Movie Captain America statue. We've never shown that before. What the hell? And this is a comic Wolverine, sort of a Simonson style armor. And uh, these are all the. Um, I think he's actually two. He might be 225, uh, a little bit more. The the, the, the four. He's got a lot of clear resin in there. You guys are up in the statue game a lot. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> these might be the biggest statues we've ever made. Yeah. I don't was in around. Uh, for back in the day, we you know when I was a toy for this and some stuff, but uh, I don't remember if we ever, ever did anything this big. Not that big. Okay. Um, we we'll continue our Justice League busts and uh, PVC gallery, DC gallery PVC statues. This is the first time we show Doomsday here. Nice. Um, most of the stuff has been seen before. Uh, Gotham. We made some changes to Gotham. We're not going to do the diorama pieces with them anymore. Series four is going to be now just uh, basic figures. Okay. Lower price point, twenty dollars instead of twenty five. Okay. Um, but we're not going to do the cell or the conditioning chair. But they all will right. still come with the sword and uh, the uh, the freeze guns and all that stuff. Um, Strange has some cool little accessories too. Um, I Zombie uh, is also one of those lower price point figures, twenty dollars, but she's going to come with a ton of accessories: her phone, rat, brains, coffee, <laughs> um, um, the Max Rager can. Uh, here's some more DC PVC statues over here. Uh, this is the 25th anniversary of Harley Quinn. Uh, still $45, um, but uh, her, she debuted in 1992 in the animated series, of course. Uh, we're doing a 25th anniversary bust for her as well. You can see our new r uh, variant for Batman right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, the 25th anniversary of Harley Bust is in her police uniform. From yes. The first episode she appeared in. Yes. And uh, she's yeah. down there next to Mr. Freeze and the Penguin. Perfect. Uh, this is the first time we've shown the Penguin anywhere. I'm very excited about Mr. Freeze and the Riddler. Those are two real classic, iconic 
uh, Batman villains that we hadn't done in the line yet. And we've done a lot of stuff. Uh, I've been seeing some pictures of people's displays out there, very cool uh, displays of all the bad guys together. We just put out Man Bat not too long ago. Yeah, so I love that. It's, 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 it's getting big. So here we are over in the uh, Batman DC. Classic TV and Vinnie Mates section. Um, we just announced we're going to be doing the DC um, DC Vinnie Mates of uh, movie, uh, TV, comic, and video games. So we're going to be doing like full DC Universe as Vinnie Mates. So Injustice? Yes, that's an Injustice Batman right there. Comic, comic Superman, TV Flash, and yes. there's a, obviously movie Wonder Woman right there. Um, uh, and uh, the line's expanding. Pirates of Caribbean 5 is one of our newest licenses. Uh, we've got some new uh, Predator stuff here, new Back to the Future. Uh, Candy Shack. Watchmen, we just recently showed some pictures of. The Batman line is going to continue. We can't shoot Robin up here, but um, everything else, Joker, the busts, uh, the banks, and everything. And uh, Back to the Future, we're bringing back a couple of our more popular um, uh, uh, vehicles, hovering vehicles. Uh, so we're going to be bringing, uh, making the hover time machine, which is previously a retailer exclusive. We're going to bring that back as a, um, as a, as a for everybody. And we're also going to offer a frosted version. I was going to say, he version. looks a little icy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we did an icy um, regular version uh, for um, for. Uh, for, uh, for comic shops, so like a deluxe 20, uh, 20, 30th anniversary. 30th, yeah. Yeah, and, um, and it came with like flaming tire dress stuff. So now we're going to do the frosted hover version. Man. That is... And that's, that's pretty much everything. We um, I didn't get to show you Dark Tower because it's a top secret. We're going to be doing PVC statues, action figures, mini mates, and mini mates for that. And we're also going to do mini mates and mini mates for Alien Covenant. Really? Yes. Okay. Yeah, very creepy. Very creepy. Creepy, creepy. Oh, and Vinyl Bank. <laughs> uh, creepy Alien <laughs> Covenant stuff. Very scary stuff. Good. Uh, I can't show any of that stuff to you yet, but hopefully soon. Okay. Zach, thank you as always. Dude, thank you for coming by. Yeah, no, no. We love it. And um, thank you guys. Uh, Toy Fair.